Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me for another video today. Today we have a 40 or so minute creative, playful, fun vinyasa flow practice. We work the whole body, but there is a little bit more emphasis on opening the front of the body. So grab any props that you think will be handy. If you like listening to music, pop on an uplifting playlist and meet me on the mat. So we'll just start in a kneeling position today or seated comfortable position that works for you. Let your hands rest onto the lap or the thighs. Grow nice and tall through your spine, soften through your shoulders. And then when it feels comfortable, just let your eyes close. And with your eyes closed, let's just start the practice by taking a deep breath in through the nose. And then exhale, open the mouth, let it go. Again, just like that deep breath in. And then open the mouth, exhale, let it go. And then seal your lips, take a slow breath in through the nose. and a slow breath out of the nose. And then just continue like that. So inhaling and exhaling, allowing your breath to be more conscious. And maybe if it resonates with you, beginning right away to initiate what we call ujjayi breath, finding that constriction through the back of the throat, a breath that can be heard and felt as you just arrive into this space onto your mat. And as you continue to breathe, go ahead and just drop your right ear to your right shoulder. And we'll just start by just opening up across the neck, across the shoulders. And then roll the chin to the chest, feeling the stretch through the back of the neck. And then left ear to left shoulder. So relaxing through that right shoulder. Good, and then just continue to move through these half neck rolls, still breathing deeply, maybe holding any areas of tension or tightness or any areas that just feel particularly good. Just a couple of moments with slowness, just to ease our way into the day. Really, really nice. And then eventually just come back to neutral, head and neck aligned. Release your hands either side of your hips. And then let's together just take an inhale, sweep the arms forwards and up to the sky. And then exhale, circle the arms down, back around behind you. And we'll do that twice more. So inhale, reach forwards, reach up. Exhale, circle down and around. And then one more time, inhale, forwards and up. And exhale, circle down and around. This time, place the hands to the floor. Walk your hands forwards, come forwards into your tabletop position. Spread your hands, spread your knees so the knees are hip distance apart. And then nice and simple, take an inhale, drop the belly, raise the gaze, simple cow pose. And then exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Again, breathing in, belly drops, heart lift. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Last one here, inhale, drop the belly, raise the gaze. Exhale, round the upper back, chin to chest. Lovely, bring it back to a neutral position. Go ahead and tuck your toes under, look forwards, and then just walk the hands forwards, just a moment in Anahata Asana, your melting heart pose. Melt the chest down to the ground, maybe the forehead releases too. Sticking the bum towards the sky and just enjoying that openness across the front body. Just take a full breath in. And open the mouth, let it go. 
Nice. And then inhale, look forwards towards the thumbs. As you exhale, begin to pull your hips and your chest forwards, forwards, forwards until you lower down onto the tummy. Slide the hands so they're underneath the shoulders. Go ahead and untuck the toes. And then inhale, rise to your first cobra. Elbows slightly bent, chest forward, shoulders back. Exhale, just release all the way back down. We'll do that twice more just to slowly warm up the spine. Inhale, cobra number two, opening the chest. Exhale, slowly release all the way down. And then last one here, inhale, cobra, lift the chest. And then exhale, slowly release back down. Really nice, go ahead and tuck your toes under. Inhale, press onto tabletop, hands and knees. And then exhale, lift your hips up and back, this time downward facing dog. And then straight away, begin to take big, bold motions here. So bending one knee, bending the other knee. And it's morning time, so let it be really nice and dynamic. Try to loosen everything up. Really, really nice. And then eventually we'll find stillness, relax the ankles. Spreading through the fingers, let's take a full inhale. And then big sigh, exhale, let it go. Amazing. On your next inhale, roll forwards, find high plank position, shoulders forwards above the wrists. And then exhale, lift your hips up and back, come into downward facing dog. Again, inhale, roll forwards, plank pose, shoulders forwards. And then exhale, lift your hips up and back into down dog. And then one more time, inhale, roll forwards, plank pose. This time as you exhale, drop your knees, lower all the way down to the tummy. Untuck your toes, <coughs> excuse me, inhale, cobra lifting up through the chest. And then exhale, tuck your toes, down dog, lift your hips up and back. Take a full breath in. And a slow breath out. And then inhale, look forwards to the front of the mat. Exhale, begin to walk your feet all the way to the top, to the thumbs. Feet are together, inhale, find halfway lift, little bend into the knees, flat back. And then fold forwards, exhale, head towards the shins. Inhale to standing, circle the arms all the way up, tailbone lengthens. And then exhale, pull your hands to heart centre. And then release your arms next to your hips. Take a deep breath in. And a slow breath out. Nice, let's find some morning energy. On an inhale, raise your arms to the sky, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale to halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, step or hop back, lower or land, chaturanga or straight to the belly. Inhaling, cobra or upward facing dog. And then exhale, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a slow breath out. The inhale, lift heels, look forwards. Exhale, step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, circle the arms all the way up, tailbone lengthens. Exhale, forward fold. Let's go straight back down, knee to nose. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, step or hop back, lower or land, chaturanga or to the floor. Inhaling, cobra upward facing. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Spreading the fingers. Again, a slow, deep breath in. And exhale. Inhale, lift heels, look up. Exhale, step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Fold forwards, exhale. Inhale to standing, circle the arms all the way up. 
exhale forward fold straight back down nose to knee inhale to halfway lift exhale step or jump back lower or land chaturanga inhaling up dog or cobra and then exhaling downward facing dog lovely spread the fingers take a deep breath in and a slow breath out on your next inhale lift your heels look up exhale step or hop to the front of the mat inhale halfway lift fold forwards as you exhale inhale circle the arms to standing tailbone long now this time as you exhale circle your arms behind your back interlacing through the fingers Take an inhale, lift the fists, the chin, the chest, little back bend here at the peak. And then exhale, bend the knees as you begin to fold forwards and down, letting the head draw towards the mat. And just feel that stretch through the front of the chest. Take a deep breath in. And a slow breath out, releasing a little bit more. Take one more inhale. And then exhale, release the hands down towards the mat. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, down dog, either step or jump back. You can go straight there, otherwise chaturanga. Inhaling up dog or cobra. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Really, really nice. Take a deep breath in. Big ah, let it go. And then inhale, sweep your right leg high to the sky. As you exhale, bend your right knee, open your hip. Try to relax your left ankle down and then really press into the hands as you turn that right knee open. Take a deep breath in here. And then exhale, bring your right knee towards your nose. Try to give it a kiss. Now from here, as you inhale, drop your right knee, tap, tap the floor, lift the chin, lift the chest, think cow pose. And then exhale, round the spine, draw the knee to the nose, try to give it a kiss. Again like that, inhale, drop the knee, lift the chin, drop the belly. Exhale, give the knee a kiss, squeeze it into the tummy. One more time, inhale, drop the knee, drop the belly, lift the chest. Exhale, draw the knee to the nose, give it a kiss. Hold it there for an inhale. And then as you exhale, place the right knee to the floor. Tuck the right toes so you're in this tabletop position. On an inhale, lift the left foot up. And then exhale, right arm reaches so you're in your balancing all fours position. You've got it, core's nice and active, take an inhale. As you exhale, bring your elbow to your knee, your knee to your elbow, rounding through the spine. Inhale, extends the arm and leg. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, extend, extend. Last time, exhale, crunch and squeeze. Inhale, extend. Now this time, exhale, bends the left knee. Sweep that right hand around for tiger pose, maybe finding the foot or the ankle. Once you're there, kick the foot into the hand, pressing through that left hand, maybe gazing forwards as you lift through the chest. Really, really nice. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Can you lift any higher for this last inhale? And then don't collapse as you exhale back to your balancing tabletop, right arm forwards, left leg back. And then right hand down, tuck the left toes to the back of the mat. From there, pressing into the hands, inhale, draw the right knee to the nose. And then step right foot forwards between the thumbs. Turn the back heel flat. Inhale, warrior one, rise the breath up. As you exhale, just bend into it, little tuck of the tailbone. Take a deep breath in. And a slow breath out. Really nice, inhale. On an exhale, circle your hands behind you, interlace the fingers. 
Inhale, lift the fists, the chin, the chest. And then exhale, humble warrior, bow to the inside of your right thigh. Once you're there, let gravity do the work in the upper body. And then really focus on pressing through the feet. Take a deep breath in. And a slow breath out. And again, inhale. And exhale. Nice. On your next inhale, lift the chin. Rise all the way back up. Warrior one, arms to the sky. As you exhale, pull your hands to your heart. Begin to lean forwards. Lift the left heel up and fly into warrior three. Extends that left leg behind you. And it'll bend into the right knees there if you need to. Chest draws forwards. Take an inhale. And an exhale. Lovely. On your inhale, look forwards. Begin to draw the left knee into the chest as you extend your arms to the sky. And then as you exhale, bend the right knee. Figure of four, place the left ankle to the knee. Hands to heart as you sit your bum back, chest forwards. So really targeting that left outer hip. Bum back, chest forwards, seeing if you can find a little bit more stretch in that left hip. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Really, really nice. On an inhale, look forwards. Draw that left knee to the chest, send your arms to the sky. Now, as you exhale, we're going to find goddess. So rotate that left knee open. Step it all the way to the back and then bend the knees, bring your hands to your heart. Really nice. On an inhale, hands to the thighs, lift the chest. As you exhale, dip your left shoulder, look over your right. Inhale, bring it back to centre. Exhale, switch, dip the right, look over the left. Inhale, back to centre. One more each side. Exhale, dip the left, look right. Inhale, centre. Exhale, dip right, look left. Nice. Inhale to centre. Exhale, hands to heart. From there, begin to turn your left toes towards the back of the mat. Left forearm to left thigh, and then turn your right heel out as you stretch your right arm over the ear for side angle pose. Option to stay there, otherwise left hand to block or floor. Bending into that left knee and then turning open through the chest. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Really nice, inhale and exhale nice on your next inhale reverse your warrior so right hand to the back fire left arm stretches up and away and then exhale straighten the left leg triangle pose left hand to floor or sorry left hand to shin or thigh right arm to the sky maybe you're gazing up pressing through the feet take an inhale and an exhale. Inhale. On an exhale, look down, bending into that left knee, half moon pose. Left hand to floor or block, right leg lift up. Try to open, expand in every direction and then maybe stay there. Maybe bend that back leg, find chapasana, bending into the right foot, holding the foot or the ankle. If you've got that connection, kick foot into hand, hand into foot. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Really, really nice. Take one more inhale. Exhale, release the foot if you have it. Look towards the floor, bend the left knee and then slowly step the right toes to the back of the room. Once you're there, drop the right knee to the floor. Inhale, sweep both arms forwards and up, coming into Anjaniasana, low lunge. Exhale, just sink down into the hips, stretching through the chest, opening. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. 
Lovely. On an inhale, bring your right hand to the floor. Left arm to the sky, twisting to the left. And then lift the right knee, either stay there or find side plank. Left foot steps to meet the right foot. Rainbow the hips, maybe gaze up, maybe gaze down. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Really, really nice. Take one more inhale. Exhale, plank pose, come back to it. Hold high plank, strong push up, take an inhale. And then exhale, chaturanga, now slow with control. Inhaling up dog or cobra. And then exhaling, lifting downward facing dog. Really, really nice. Take a deep breath in. And then big sigh. Lovely. Let's inhale the left leg high to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, rounds the spine, try to give the knee a kiss. Good, so same as before, on an inhale, tap the left knee, drop the belly, lift the chin, lift the chest. And then exhale, knee to nose, round the spine, draw it in. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chin, lift the chest. Exhale, nose to knee, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. One more time, inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, squeeze, try to give it a kiss, hold. And then this time, inhale, drop the knee to the floor, tuck the left toes. And then lift the right foot off the mat, lift the left arm off the mat, coming into your balancing tabletop position, you've got it. Take an inhale, extend arm and leg. And then exhale, draw elbow to knee, knee to elbow. Two more, inhale, extend and reach. Exhale, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Last one, inhale, extend and reach. Exhale, draw in, hold. Beautiful, inhale, extend and reach. Exhale, this time tiger bends the right leg, left hand finds the foot. And then see if you can kick the foot into the hand, finding that nice deep openness across the left shoulder. Good, take a breath in. And a breath out. Can you press even more through that right hand for one more inhale? And then slow exit, exhale, balancing table, left arm forwards, right arm back. Flex the right foot, left hand to the floor, left toes tucked to the back of the mat. On an inhale, draw that left knee to the chest. And then exhale, left foot steps between the thumbs, turn the back heel flat. Inhale, warrior one, rise up. Exhale, bend into it, just finding your foundations through the feet. Take another inhale here. And then exhale, circle the hands behind you, interlace the fingers. On an inhale, lift the fists, the chin, the chest. And then humble warrior, exhale, crown of the head towards the floor and just let yourself topple forwards. Really, really nice. And just imagine, or don't imagine, just let gravity do the work for you, just softening in. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Amazing. On your next inhale, lift the gaze, press through the feet, rise all the way back to warrior one. And then exhale, bring your hands to your heart, begin to lean forward, warrior three, lifting that right leg off the floor. Again, just take a moment, square the hips, breath in and breath out. And again, inhale and exhale nice on your next inhale pull that right knee into the chest arms to the sky one-legged mountain and then exhale right ankle on top of the left knee bum back chest forward as you sit down into the pose think about again chest forwards bum back and just finding the stretch that works for you take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. 
And again, inhale. And exhale, amazing. On your next inhale, draw your right knee back to your chest, arms to the sky. And then exhale again, goddess. So nice, slow transition. Rotate the right knee open. Step the right foot back and then bend the knees, hands come to heart center. Good, this time let's inhale, five pointed star, straighten and stretch, reach up. And then exhale, hands to heart, come back to it. Two more, inhale, stretch, reach up, try to open the chest. Exhale, sit down into it. Last time, inhale, stretch, reach up and open. Exhale, sit down into it, nice. Look towards the right foot, turn the right foot out. Right forearm to the thigh, turn the left heel out and stretch the left arm over, side angle pose. Stay there or bring the right hand to a block or the floor. Find your variation and then find the breath, inhaling and exhaling. Yeah, perfect. Inhale. And exhale. Amazing. On your next inhale, reverse warrior. Right arm stretches up and back behind you. And then exhale, straighten the right leg. Triangle pose. Right hand to shin or thigh, left arm to the sun. Turn the chest, maybe gazing up. Maybe if it strains the neck, gaze down. One more breath in. And then exhale, look down. Half moon pose, bend to the right knee, left, sorry, right arm forwards. Left leg lifts up and back as you open across the chest. Stay there, find your balance, or maybe bend to the left knee for Ardha Chandra Chapasana, kicking the foot into the hand, the hand into the foot. Once you're there, try to open up across the chest, take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Nice, you've got it. Take one more inhale. Exhale, release the foot if you have the foot. Begin to bend the right knee, squaring the hips as you step the left toes back. Drop the left knee down. Inhale, sweep that left arm, right arm forwards and up. And Janiyasana. Exhale, just sink into that left hip flexor. Good, take one more inhale. And then exhale, left hands to the floor. Inhale, lift the left knee, turn to the right as you twist. And then stay there or exhale, side plank. Right foot meets left and you're lifting up through the hips. Again, just a nice strong press through the left hand. Breathing in. Breathing out. And take one more inhale. Exhale, plank pose, nice strong straight line. Hold high plank as you breathe in. And then exhale, chaturanga, lower with control. Inhaling, up dog or cobra. And then down dog as you breathe out. Really nice, take a full big breath in. And a big sigh, exhale, let it go. Notice the energy, notice the heart beating, and just for a moment, just allow it to relax. And when you're ready, just look forwards to the front of the mat. Go ahead and drop your knees down to the floor. Inhale, slide the hands to the knees, so circle the arms up to the sky, reaching high. And then as you exhale, take your left hand to your left heel, hips forwards, and just find your half camel. If it strains the neck, gaze towards that left hand, hips forwards, and just stretching through the right side body. Beautiful. And then inhale, sweep both arms up to the sky. Exhale, right hands to the right heel, hips forwards, stretching through the arms.
Lovely. Inhale, send both arms up to the sky. And then exhale, hands to the floor, tabletop position one more time. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, come back into your downward facing dog. Beautiful. Take an inhale, raise your right leg high to the sky. Exhale, step your right foot to the outside of the right hand. Drop the left knee down. Inhale, sweep your right arm forwards, up and back, open the chest. And then exhale, bend to the left knee. Maybe you find the foot, maybe you don't. But begin to draw the heel towards the glutes regardless. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Again, just like that, inhale. And exhale. Nice. And then slowly release the left foot. Right hand comes back to the floor. Press into the hands, lift the left knee. Inhale, free leg dog. Right leg lifts up and back. And then exhale, bend the right knee. Stay there or wild thing. Shift your shoulders forwards. Flip the foot behind you. Right arm to the sky. And if you have a full wheel pose transition from here, go for it. Otherwise, just press through that left hand. And enjoy a moment of wild thing. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Lovely, looking down towards the left thumb. Wherever you are, try to inhale that right knee to the chest. Right hand to the floor, setting up for pigeon. Right shin comes to the mat and you're setting up for your nice pigeon stretch. Come up onto the fingertips. Take an inhale, lift the chest. And then exhale, just walk yourself forwards. Maybe come down onto the forearms. Maybe come all the way down into sleeping pigeon. Just enjoying a moment there to release through the glutes. Breathing in. And breathing out. Again, inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Slowly, slowly inhale. Rise all the way back up. Pressing into the hands one more time. Tuck the left toes. Lift the knee. Inhale. Free leg dog. Shoot that right leg back. Give it a good old wiggle. And then exhale. Release the right foot down to the floor. Inhale, the left leg lifts high. Exhale, left foot to the outside of the left hand. Drop the right knee. Same as before, inhale, left arm sweeps forwards, up and back. Open the chest. And then exhale, stay or bend the knee, grab the foot and just turn open through the heart. Good, again, just slowing the breath now, inhaling and exhaling lovely on your next exhale release the foot release the hand tuck the right toes inhale free leg dog left leg extends behind you and then exhale bend the knee open the hip stay there or flip your dog wild thing Open the chest, let the head hang heavy. By all means, if you went into wheel the first time, go for it. But really just open through that chest. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Nice, and then look towards your right thumb. Begin to draw that left knee into the chest. Left hand comes down to the floor, left shin comes down, setting up for pigeon. Drop the right knee down, come onto the fingertips, take an inhale, lift the chest, and then exhale, fold, release, your variation of the pose. Letting the shoulders relax, the fingers, as you just melt your way in. Take one more breath in. 
slow breath out. And then slowly bring your hands underneath the shoulders, walk yourself back up. Go ahead and tuck your toes under. Last time here, free leg dog, inhale, lift the left leg, give it a shake. And then exhale, down dog, find a release. And just for a moment, wiggle it out, shake the hips, do what feels good for you. And then eventually find stillness, take an inhale, look to the thumbs. And then exhale, drop your knees, child's pose, send your bum to your heels. And just for a moment, let everything relax. Allow the shoulders to soften. Allow the fingers to soften and just feel all of that hard work just melt down into the mat. Slowing the heart rate, slowing the breath. And then whenever you're ready, just tucking the chin in and just begin to slide the hands towards the knees. Going nice and tall through the spine. And then let's just sit ourselves over to one side, just release the legs out long, just for a final little forward fold here, just to release the spine. So feet together, hands to thighs or shins. Take an inhale, lengthen your chest. And then with a rounded spine today, exhale, just begin to melt and fold forwards. And just as if you were to fall asleep, just allow gravity to do the work. Allow the breath to slow the natural ebb and flow of the breath to come back. And then slowly, slowly with the chin tucked, begin to roll all the way back up. Bend your right knee into the floor. Take the right hand behind you. Just a simple twist here. Inhale the left arm lift. And then exhale, left elbow hooks, and just use that to twist the spine. Try to relax the right shoulder, take an inhale to lengthen. And then exhale, just deepen your twist. On an inhale, look forwards. And then exhale, release the twist. Extends the left, right leg, sorry, bends the left knee, just switching. Inhale, right arm lift. Exhale, right elbow hooks. Again, use that connection to twist. Try to scroll upright through the spine. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. And then inhale, look forwards. Exhale, release the twist. Extends the legs, give them a nice old wiggle. And then just find a comfortable cross-legged position, crossing the ankles or kneeling if that feels more comfortable with you. Let your hands rest onto the knees, grow nice and tall through your spine, let your eyes close. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And then open the mouth, exhale, let it go. Seal your lips, take an inhale through the nose. Slow exhale. And just come back to the rhythm of your breath. And before you leave your mat today, just acknowledging all the qualities that you found during your practice the strength, the openness, the stamina, but also the sense of peace and calm. And see if as you move through your day, you can take that with you and just use it to guide your each and every move. So let's bring our hands into heart center, an act or a hand gesture, a mudra of gratitude bowing the forehead down and just thanking yourself for showing up 
And then when you're ready, lift the chin and just begin to rub the palms together. Create lots of heat, lots of warmth, lots of energy through the hands. And then when the hands are nice and warm, place the hands over the eyes. Feel the darkness, feel the warmth that you've created. And then when you're ready, slowly draw the hands away from the face and gently flicker to let the eyes open. Namaste. Well done. Thank you so much for joining.